Hi, my name is Cyril, and I'm a service engineer at SME Australia. I will go through the commissioning of your SMA inverter with inbuilt Wi-Fi via its web interface. To start configuring your inverter, you must first access its Wi-Fi interface. So step one, go to your phone or computer's Wi-Fi connections, and you will see that your inverter is detected in the list of devices. It will be in the format of SMA, followed by the serial number of the inverter. The first time you access the Wi-Fi interface, the password you need to use is SMA12345, ensuring that S, M, and A are in capital letters. After the initial commissioning of the inverter, this password will change to the WPA2-PSK password written on the label of your inverter. Now go to your web browser and type in the IP address 192.168.12.3. Once you access the interface, you will need to log in as an installer and you will first be prompted to create a password. This password is required in order to register the inverter on Sunny Portal. So make sure that you create a password that is easy to remember and that you'll be able to use later on. Once you are logged in on the interface, it will ask you if you wish to go ahead with the installation assistant. So click on configuration with installation assistant. The first step in the installation assistant will give you the option to synchronize your Sunny Boy to your Wi-Fi connection. Scroll down to WLAN and select activate WLAN. It will give you a list of detectable networks around your inverter, so make sure that you select the one that you need. So in this case, we'll connect to this one and set a password. You will notice that the top of the screen will give you a list of detectable networks. You will see that it is now also connected to the Wi-Fi. So let's go and save and next. The next step is to set up the time. So if your inverter is connected to the internet, you can set this to automatic time synchronization on save and next. The next one is the country standard, so make sure that you select the one that you need. Save and next. This next step is to synchronize your energy meter to the inverter. So you'll have the option to add it or to remove it. The next section in the installation assistant is very important for two main purposes. The first one is if you need to set the active power limitation on your PV plant. And secondly, if you need to set the reactive power on this particular inverter. This next section is used to set up your battery storage. You can set which battery you have installed. And you can also do a functional test for charge and discharge of the battery to ensure that the operation is all OK. Go and click on Save and Next. This last page gives you a summary of overview of all the parameters we have just set on the inverter. The bottom of the page gives you an option to export the summary whether for yourself or for your customer. If everything is done, click on continue to finish the commissioning. Finally, the inverter is available on, to be registered on Sunny Portal. So if you go on www.sunnyportal.com and go through the plan setup assistant, you will have the opportunity to use the PIC, RID, and the installation password that you previously set on the inverter in order to register it on Sunny Portal. I hope this tech tip was helpful to commission your SMA inverter with inbuilt Wi-Fi via its web interface.